It's a new motherfucking day, and guess where we are? In the motherfucking fort. Look at my baby. In the mother, in the mother, in the motherfucking fort, baby. Beautiful. In the fort, looking good. Baby, get that, get that from top of your lip. It's in your top, your little, it's in your filter. <laughs> Today for me is day one of quarantine because this is my first day not working. <sighs> feels good. It feels good. When we first started dating, like now I think about it, we used to do a lot of shit during sex, and I was just doing any and everything. Baby, you let you me. Look, do Low key, always been nasty. And I've been the dumbass, letting you do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> no, you wasn't a dumbass. You were very comfortable because you were comfortable and yeah. and you ain't make me. No, you know what I realized? What you realized? Early, early in the relationship, you were just as freaky, if not more freaky, as me. <laughs> So it made me very comfortable with uh, doing certain things. Like I had never really recorded myself. That was actually always something I avoided because you know I had been involved with men prior, mm -hmm. and I never trusted them to record you. record me because I feel like them niggas. niggas record you, and as soon as y'all either not fuck with each other no more or something They're happens, trying to expose you. Since the beginning, you just made me really. Because remember, like, babe. First of all, the beginning of our relationship was very sexual very sexual to the point we i'm sure we mentioned this in other vlogs but we had took a break to make sure we really liked each other and not just the sex like, it was very very sexual and i remember like things that i would normally feel shy about you made them feel very very normal like girl give me that clip put it in my mouth right now like mm -hmm. i'm gonna turn the camera on this is what i want you to do Definitely. And I used I'd to be make like, you no. masturbate in front of me. Uh, I used to be like, like masturbate. You like, I'm like, for real? Like, yeah, like. You would do it. Okay, I guess. I used to put ice up in there. Yo, we Because to... we had an ice machine in my parents' house. You used to definitely utilize the machine. I'm crying. I never think when I'm doing these things. I just. Okay, y'all, she been nasty. <laughs> we were nasty from the beginning. Unknown to popular opinion. <laughs> People who say. Giving up on the first date, first hangout, whatever the fuck, will get you left. I will let you know it will get you married. I'm crying, definitely. First night, she ate my box. And this is really what made me want to, like, see how the sex was. Because I had been involved with other girls, but, like, I really wasn't too big on, like, the strapping thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. The head was ridiculous. When me and Fishy started talking, I was talking to someone else. I was talking to a guy at the time. And I let her know she didn't give a fuck because she's herself. She was like, I will let you know I'm t I am talking to somebody else. I said, what he got to do with me? <laughs> what exactly. did he have to do with me? What like, you said. <laughs> and, like, you know, I was very open about what I was doing. This is where y'all bisexuals fuck up. Be open and honest about what you're doing and let people make the honest decision on whether or not they want to be involved with you or not. You'd be surprised the people who will be involved with you just because of your honesty. X. Yeah, this is really what I knew. He was trying to do something, and like I was trying to be nice and like let it happen. But literally, I was thinking about her the whole time, so I'm like, okay, clearly this is like my sexual soulmate or some shit. <laughs> so then I remember, I remember, I think I told her to bring the strap to my house because she didn't you even. Did. Yeah, I told her I was like, because I was like, Matter birthday, fact, she been me, dogging me, like no, dogging me. You she asked was, me why. You asked me why. I haven't tried to strap down on you yet. That's what you said. Um, and I was like, I don't know. Because to me, she was a straight girl. I know. She never said I was bisexual. She just was a straight girl to me. So, <laughs> bitch, I don't know. Bitches just... Straight bitches just be wanting head sometimes. This is true. Most straight so. girls that I know who fuck with girls really just enjoy getting their box eaten. That's because niggas be acting like we don't eat the box. Right. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, because, like, in the beginning, you were just, you were eating me out a lot, shit like that. Like, it was, the beginning of our relationship, for me, personally, go to sleep, wake up to some kind of sex, make something to eat, have sex again, go to sleep, wake up, have sex. Like, that was the blur. Sex, sleep, food. Basically. And, yeah, she was just nasty from the rip, like... 
Yeah, so I'm definitely about to bring the ice oh, cream. Everything I did to or with baby. Like I said, I never thought about it, but I also didn't know it was BDSM. So the whole time, I was into BDSM and didn't even know it. Bam. Especially ice play. Like, when I tell you niggas was, I would, ooh, we're going to do the ice again. The lollipops, girl, I don't know why. The blow pops have, like, a special place in my brain. Not a special place. Well, your body like a snake, well, you know. Keep on wanting, baby, don't slow down. 